You've been living at your home for 30 years. Right. How long have the Scots been neighbors? Eight or ten years, I'm thinking. Um, I can't remember. 2005, so, I bought the house. So, okay. the dogs have been living in relative harmony for a while. No, and I can prove that. Had there ever been any other incidents with the dogs? Yes, there have. Through the fence? Through the fence. Then why didn't you fix it, Mr. Flanagan? We fixed it with uh, a... We had a system. She would text me when she would let her dogs That's out. That's not a system. Well... A system is putting up mesh wire or something else. That's a system. If you have dogs whose heads can fit through these bars, that's a system. All right, you want to tell me, you know... You... Can, I, can I elaborate what he's saying? No, they're supposed to text when you're cleaning it. That's, no, no, that's... there wasn't a text. What he's re referring to when you asked him, has there been an incident with this happened to me before? It was in 2006 or 2007. I had... That's the father of all of these dogs before these dogs was even born. My male Rottweiler used to get through their gate and go to their house, and they told me about that because they used to play with them. They, they were friendly with the dog. When I realized it and, and found out about it, no, he didn't fix the fence. I fixed the fence. And I have a picture showing right underneath where we live is a gutter that comes together. And there's a, a bar that I had put down there. I fixed it once I realized that that was happening. I didn't even know. So that's what he's referring to when Got he said, it. was there an incident before the dog? Yeah, it was, but it wasn't these dogs. They weren't even born. It was the father of these dogs. I'd like to respond if I could. Uh, sure. The father of the dog the, is uh, Shaq, and he was. He was very he was very tame. Yeah. Buddy and Shaq got along very well. Buddy's the victim here. And he, he used to come in our yard through the gutter, and uh, we did get that fixed. I paid for it. We paid for those gutter guards on both ends. No, you didn't. I whether, paid for that. Whether you did or whether you didn't, the fence was such that your border collies could get their snouts, their whole through the fence, which is how they were injured in this attack. But it was on their property. Yes, it wasn't it was. on your property. It is impossible for a Rottweiler to get through between these two poles in order to get your dog by the snout. Was your dog injured on the snout? Absolutely. Just, that's what I thought. And Can all I... over his, his ears are gone. His, he had Just a, several that, injuries. But that's what I thought. He was injured in his snout which means not his shoulders, not any other part. His head was through there. It, that's terrible to happen. Yeah. You were out there? Stand yes. up, please. Was your father there? Yes, we both were. Tell me what you did. The dog's head was through the gate? Yes, and it had, was being clamped down on by all three of their Rottweilers. But it was through the gate. And how did you try to extricate your dog from the gate? I tr did everything I could, and uh, when I realized that they were actively pulling him through and bending the fence, I grabbed him by the collar, I put my feet against the cinder blocks, and I pulled as hard as I could until he came free. You know, he lost an ear in, in, the, in the process, but uh, I did get him free, and I hadn't realized that I had been bitten because of the adrenaline, but about five minutes after, I did realize that I had been bitten. If you held him by the collar, who bit you? Well, I was actively, oh, no. before that, I was actively trying to pry them off with by my hand through hand, the fence. By putting your hand through the fence? Yes. Yes. By putting your hand through the fence on their property. Am I correct? Yes, you're, yes. you're correct.